Hi, I'm Ben, and in this video we're going to be looking at identifying the different types of angles and, a different, and an introduction to it. Now it's really important that the children have a really good grasp of the names of the angles and what they mean before we even get into using a protractor or before we even start looking at numbers. So here, here's a different angle. We can look at it uh, dynamically or statically. So on the board or in their books it's static, but a dynamic would be getting them to move. For example, I would get the children to stand up and they could move in a quarter turn and getting them actively involved is a really really useful way of teaching. Now when we're looking at right angles, um, a right angle is always always the corner of a square and it always measures 90 degrees. It doesn't matter on the orientation of the right angle whether it's on the left or around it will always be the same and we denote that with a little square in the corner. Again that's a really really useful piece of understanding for when the children later on tackle more challenging number and word problems with angles. Here we have an acute angle, so we draw that in like that. Um, the acute angle is a really, really good way of using this. This is an the angle eater. Now it's just made from a circle, uh, folded in two quarters, and then a piece cut out, a corner cut out, one quarter. And there she is, and an the angle eater only eats acute angles. So this is brilliant for the children. I've taught this in year three, and you place it over like that, and then they can see that if the angle fits inside it, it's an acute angle. Again, there is no need for any measuring, there's no need for any numbers, the children can see what acute angles look like. This is also really good for the children, and this helps with their visuals. This is like an angle turner, so they can show 90 degrees, they can show a straight line, they can show acute angles, they can show obtuse angles, you could even get into showing reflex angles, or whole turn. And again, the children can just experiment with these and have the understanding of what the different terms mean. Lastly, the one that we'll look at is the obtuse angle. Like that. And an obtuse angle is more or larger than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. They're the key facts that you need to start off for identifying angles. And from then we can build on and we can start to look at numbers.